How's it going guys, Sherlock here. So Roblox videos finally got released and we can now play them in our game. So you can actually create your own game in Roblox Studio and choose a video file and basically make it run inside of the game. This is pretty cool to show your friends. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to get these videos playing. Now there's just one kind of big issue with this. We can't upload our own videos as of yet. Hopefully Roblox is gonna fix this. I mean, they're gonna need a lot of moderation if people can upload their own videos. I don't know about copyright issues and that sort of thing. But there are already some free video models on the Create tab. So I'm just on my Roblox homepage. But let's go over to the Create tab. From here, we just need to click on Library. Then we need to go into Video. And this is going to show you guys all of the videos that you can currently get. So some of them are made by Roblox. Some of them are made by other people. Currently, there's a glitch where it only shows the Roblox ones. So to fix that, all you have to do is go on Recently Updated. And it will show them by the other people as well. So it looks like there's quite a few. Some of them are pretty cool. We've got like bricks news station. I think what we're going to do in this video, we're going to take a few, we're going to watch them inside of games. I'm really curious to see what some of these videos look like. Some of them would be perfect for horror games, like these TV static errors and those glitches and that sort of thing. Um, some of them look a bit weird. Let's try and find some cool ones. Weapon safety, noobs fighting, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let's take some of these and then we can actually put them inside of games. So let's go ahead, buy this one. We're also going to get this one. The weapon safety one looks kind of interesting. Actually, that looks like Counter-Strike. And then we've got a fighting scene between two noobs. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all these. Next, we need to click on Create at the top. And we're going to edit a game or we're going to create a new game. For this video, I'm just going to create a new one so you guys can see how it works. So just click on Create New Game. And then all you want to do is select base plate, scroll down, click on create game. It's going to create it for you. It's going to call it whatever your Roblox username and then place and then number, obviously. We're just going to click on edit. We're going to click on open and let's go and see what these videos look like. So it might look something like this. All we have to do to set this up is just choose a part, which is a brick. So make sure you've got block selected. And then we just need to click on the scale tool and we're just gonna resize it. Now I'd probably resize it so it's like the same like size as like a monitor or a cinema screen or whatever you want to create really. Um, you don't have to change the color, but I'm just gonna set it to black just so it looks like a TV screen, that sort of thing. Next, we need to click on our toolbox. We need to go onto our inventory and we need to look for my videos. These will be the videos that you recently purchased. Now, if you didn't purchase any, you can actually get one from the toolbox section. Keep in mind they're all free. So, you know, I said purchased, but they don't actually cost anything. But I wish to select the ones which I purchased. So I'm gonna go on my videos right here. And all we really do is literally just drag and drop. You literally drag it like this and then drop it onto your TV. So let's test one to start off with. I'm kind of curious to see what this bunny scarf thing is. So we're just gonna drag and drop this on. Now there's a few more stuff you need to do. You need to go over to the workspace. You need to find your TV, open it, open up Surface GUI, find whatever it's called. It should have like a video icon. So click on that, go on view at the top and then click on properties. There's actually two properties that we need to change about the video to get it working. And it is loop and playing. So make sure looped and playing is on. Click on the cross cross off these and there you go all you have to do is go on test go on play here and now what we can do is spawn it into the game our video is going to be running and it's going to be in a loop roblox videos don't actually like last that long so they're only like what about 10 seconds in length some are even less but this one is advertising some bunny scarf is this a roblox item did roblox upload this or is it ugc i don't know but as we can see it's really cool the um quality of it looks really nice it's really cool to finally get these in our games and i would definitely recommend you guys actually installing them into your games and actually just testing them out uh what we're going to do we're actually going to spawn in a few more um if i just create a few more tvs and that sort of thing we can actually get some more of these video files running okay so i just added a few more let's just go on test we're just going to jump into a game with play here and we can have a look at some of them i noticed some of them wouldn't play so is there a certain amount of videos you can have inside of a game is there only one video running at the same time that could be a possibility. I might have to test that out. But this one right here has got sound with it. So you're able to hear the sounds of the gun. You're able to turn up the volumes and stuff like that. This one is really cool. Right, so I think that is true. I think it only lets me have one video at the moment. As we can see, this one is a bit pixelated. Some of the other ones were a lot better quality. Maybe because this one is a fight scene, but I'm not 100% sure. 
But yeah, this one does have audio as well, and it's uh, actually pretty cool. So if you guys want to make your own Roblox cinema, probably something you can do fairly soon when you can upload your own clips. And yeah, this is actually really awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.